Let's move on to the sessions that just concluded because I think that you had some, some gains that you did personally. There were several bills that you presented. I think at least two that you actually talked about in general. Is this a Senate that is functioning, a legislature in the assembly that's functioning as a new kind of type of order, which our governor, your friend, Andrew Cuomo, our governor, who says that this is a new way of doing business, an on-time budget four times in his first four, four years. Are you happy with what's happening in Albany? No. You're not. Why not? What, what, same, what, is, wrong, what is wrong with the is legislature? Is the or worse? How is it worse? Because... There's no transparency. See, not according to Andrew Cuomo. Oh, no, it's not transparency. The, the, the three men in the room continue. The three, three white guys in the room. Now it's four. Now it's, yeah. Uh, but, but, but by the way, aren't you uncomfortable? I mean, what's happening there? You allow this to, I mean. Who allows that? People like you. No, uh, no, no, hold it, hold it, hold it. When, when the you, four amigos, when the four amigos, Senator that being Pedro, Carl Kruger, Pedro Espada, Senator Carl Kruger, and Monsegate Flores, Monsegate, Iran Monsegate, Iran Monsegate and myself. When we By the way, to, you're the only one that's not gone to jail. The rest are in prison. Do you visit them at all in prison? Do you come? You do? You do? So you keep in touch with Carl Kruger, a convict. Is, is you keep in touch with Iran Monsegate. Oh, oh, yes, that's my colleague. That is still your colleague. You no, my calling. That is my your calling. calling. My calling is to help anyone in need. Okay. Uh, you don't condemn them that. for what they did. I, what they did. Well, Carl Kruger, you know, he's a thief. He's he went to jail. He stole. Yeah. See, this 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 is uh this is from a friend my a friend uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez uh, yeah. Okay. A, a state assemblyman who dishonors or who uh, who's state in Senate. jail also. State Senate. Right. When people go down, when people are down. This is this society, the, the, one I, the one in which you and I live, this society, tend to only, so hypocritical, so, so much hypocrisy, that they tell you, oh, we're going to help people when they come out of jail, we want to help them so they can find jobs, so they, so they you know, change their life, and then we, yeah, we never help them, we never help them. So people, there's a fail. There's a failed system in terms of the criminal justice system. In okay, we, okay. we understand that. You make you commit a mistake. You go to jail. You pay for it. Right. When you come out, or oh, what you are doing there, or what you what you there, why should I keep hitting you? You already been punished for it. You are paying your dues to the society for what you did. Now, now what? Now it's it's like like you are pissed now. And to everyone, even your friends, abandoned you. So, so you have not abandoned Carl Kruger. I will not abandon any, anyone. So, so let me ask you this. Anyone. If, if the system is still not, there's no transparency, what was good about Carl Kruger who turned out to be convicted and is doing jail time right now? What, good what is good about human, Senator, ex-Senator Pedro Espada? They're human beings and they have souls to save. Don't you worry sometimes, you know, these four amigos I had that we were trying to change government, they're all in jail. Do you ever worry about you one day waking up and being charged with a crime? If I do wrong, I should be punished. If I do wrong, I should be punished. So all that went on with Carl, you never had any knowledge of what Carl Kruger was doing or Pedro Espada? Uh, you, you, I mean, you, you don't see, I, I'm not a detective. Okay. I got children. My son is a born board president. Right, Ruben Diaz Jr. Children. I don't know what you have a, a daughter who's an officer yeah. of the NYPD. Yeah, she retired already. Oh, she retired. She, okay. So I got friends, I got employees. I, I don't know what they do. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So your purpose I, I, of having the four amigos and you complain about the independent democratic coalition. Yeah, but what, what we did as a, in the Senate, see, what Kai Kruger did was out of, no, it was not during the coup. It was not because of the coup. It was no we're referring. We're making reference now to when David Patterson was the accidental governor, right? This is when you guys came yeah. into. You took advantage of the fact that there was this chaos going on after the we, Elliot uh, Spitzer. No, and we were trying to do a coalition with the Republican. They were trying all. Have you been, were playing politics. We were trying to obtain some kind of uh, benefit for our community. For example, the Senate, the Hispanic, the Black and Hispanic. In the city, in the, in the state of New York, never, I never got the more benefit than what we took over. 
every single black and Hispanic had, was chairmanship of something. That never happened. We have the first, the first and only, the first and only secretary of the Senate, Hispanic. The first and only, Angel Aponte. All right, so, so let me bring you to the current status in which you called it, you know, it's really still dysfunctional. It may have cleaned up and maybe they do it a better way, but it's dysfunctional. How come you're so supportive of what Jeff Klein has done, the state senator from, uh, what from am LeBron? I support, what am you're I supportive support? of the Independent Democratic uh, Conference, aren't you? Aren't you supportive of the Independent Democratic Conference, which goes against your own party and you feel if that... I were, if I were uh, supporting, like, you in the sense that you're trying to say, I would be already a member of them. See, I'm still a member of the regular Democratic Conference. I have never changed, not with the Four Amigos, not with the Four Amigos, not with now, not right. with now. I never changed. What I'm saying is, we are telling Jeff, and I'm the one writing, I'm the one saying Jeff had to come back. Because if Jeff come back, it will be better for us, for all of us, even us Democrats. But Jeff, to some people, you're wearing a cowboy hat. To some yeah. people, Jeff went outside and he's coming back with a gun to the head of the leadership of the Democratic Party and say, either you accept me and give me some kind of reader or I won't come in. So is that the way that you got to function to get I things done? I don't know the conversation they have. Oh, come on. No, no. <laughs> come See, on. Now, now you give come me, on. Now You've you been give, in those rooms. Now you are giving, come on. Now you are giving me more credit than what you I You have say. made deals <laughs> like this. I, I make no deals. That's the problem with me. That is the problem with me. I may not deal. People have, when I believe some when I believe something, you don't have to give me anything. You don't pressure. So you go on conviction. Preach pressure. Pick it. You could go pick at my office. You could go put candidates against against me. You could give me money to my campaign. You could not give me but, money. You don't need but to you, do anything. But you do realize that Jeff Klein is doing what I just described. He wants to come back under his conditions with a gun to the Democratic Party's head, yeah, right? Yeah, well, listen, listen to me. But when, he, when the beginning, when he did that, I criticized it. I wrote about it. And the Democrats, and all the, the people that I criticize now, they was praising them. They said, oh, what intelligent. They, they call us teeth. When we're trying to the do four the amigos. Same, the one we're trying to do the same, the call. Well, at least three of you were thieves. Because yeah, but no, because when we don't do it, okay. they, see, okay. Hiram, Hiram Monserrat was because he... That's true. Problem with the, with the girlfriend. With the girlfriend. He, nothing nothing, had to, nothing do to do with it. Uh, oh, and something that he did when he was in the city council. Right. right. Pedro de Pada was something that he did here in his clinic. Right. And Kai Kruger was something. He was not that action in the Senate. But because of that action in the Senate, was they, they call us extortionists. They call us bribes, they call, they call us crooks, they call us all kind of things. When, when they came, the four, the other four, four whites. The Independent the Democratic white, Conference, right. You call it Independent Democratic, I call it the four whites. The, yo, you call them the four whites. White guys. You, when yeah. they came, and they there did the same. There is a female involved in there. Four white guys. When they came and they did the same, and they did demand good offices, uh, more staff, position, because all the same thing that we were doing, people would say, oh, wow, man, they great. What? And they was, they was praising them. So now they want me, when I, when I was at the beginning saying, hey, they're doing the, they're doing the same thing that we did. How come, they, how come nobody criticized them? And we was praising them. So no, I'm, I'm not going to criticize them. Is it them. because they work better or Jeff Klein works better with Governor Cuomo? Is there, you know, I, I refer to it as the wink from the governor. Is this governor being honest to the Democratic the governor, Party? The go, the go, this governor has, been, it's not, has not been honest. He cut us. Who oh, us? The Democratic Party? The, every elected official. He cut the, the member item. Member item is right. that thing that was assigned for, for us to help community, not for profit. Senior citizen, little leagues, you know, when they need a trophy, they need something. That we, they have member items to help community groups, uniforms, uh, computers, labs well, for senior citizens. Well, the governor would say that these are expenses unnecessary and that he had to bring the budget into a real. No. He, took, he took the money away from us and he, put it, he took it from himself. The governor. So we had no member item. He's a governor from your party. He had no member item. I, I, assume, I, assume, no member I item. assume that you're, re you're endorsing his re-election, Ken. Uh, that we gotta, that's, that, that, you have an, you, you that know, is a topic for a later conversation. Well, wait a minute. I, either you support Rob Astorino or you support Governor Cuomo. That's a topic for a later you conversation. You haven't made a decision. 
No. So are you capable as a Democrat sitting in the state to endorse a Republican? I've done it before. And you would win it? I got no problem. So right now, Governor, what does Governor Cuomo have to do to convince you as a Democrat to vote for him in November? Hey, 1199. And those Pataki against uh, okay. Karma Okay, but I'm talking about Ruben Diaz. Listen, 1199 the Union and those Karma I mean, George Pataki against Karma The governor, this governor, this governor that you asking me, are you, you know, this governor, last election he and those Republican senators against Democratic candidates. So are you saying here on City and I State repeat, TV I want to repeat that you, again, okay. that this governor, Governor Andrew Cuomo, in the last election, he endorsed Republican senators against Democratic challenges. So you're telling me that he could do that, I cannot do that? That's what you're telling me? No, I'm telling you that I want to know if you're endorsing him for re-election or you're endorsing Rob Astorino, his opponent. His Rob Astorino is a good friend of mine. He's been calling me. We have Rob Astorino has. We have, a, we have established a relationship better and bigger than the one that I have with the governor. So there's a possibility. Big one. That you would endorse him. Big one. Okay, me and, and you're telling me here in City and State TV, me and, the Hispanic and minister. you're just not telling me for, because the cameras are rolling, you're telling City and State TV that you, the possibility that you could endorse and that you're, are you near that and the governor is not calling you? Would it, would it take, let me ask you, would it take at this point a call from the governor himself to say, Ruben, you can't do that. I know you're kidding. I know what is. Let's have a conversation. If he did that, would that stop you from even considering? Or do you want that attention? Or is it that you're you more? Are you more in line with Rob Astorino? Do you? I'm gonna repeat myself again. Are you more in line with Rob Astorino? Yes. Do you have any problems with what Rob Astorino represents right now that he's laid out in terms of what his? I have more problem with what the governor has done to my community, cutting services to my community, uh, cutting. Uh, Medicaid bill, uh, uh, Medi Medicaid money, uh, uh, services, courts, closing institution in, in my community, hurting my community. I got more problem than that. That Frank 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 saying I'm against uh, in, uh, immigration, immigration or uh, so you you have more problems with. That. I got more problem with so, the government. So to you, the Dream Act not passing is not a real problem. That's the government for. Oh. Really? That's the, see, that's the one trying to tell you. The governor is worse than Rafa Torino and than anybody. The governor is the one calling the shot. The governor is the one that don't, doesn't want. See, next year, I'm, to, I'm going, to, going to prophesy. You want to prophesy for me? I don't, you're going to turn into a pastor on me now? Okay, don't pull out the Bible now. I cannot separate. I told you in the beginning. I cannot separate me so from you're going me. To be, what, what are you going to prophesy now? Next year, during the State of the Union proposal, when, when we start, going to Kwan, when I say one in oh, So you're saying that he's going to win, though, because you're putting him. Yeah, I think he's going to win. I'm not saying he will lose. Okay, yeah. okay so let's, let's, let's advance. Fast ne forward ne to that. Next year, when he wins, if he wins, next year, when he do the, the State of the State uh, address, he's going to include in that, the, the, the Dream Act. So he said, I'm doing it. So you're saying that he intentionally led the DREAM Act to fail so, so that he could take credit next, next year? Next, yeah. We're going to have- That's a prophecy. We're running out of time here. Uh, I just have to ask you right now, the biggest disappointment before we cut off this, and we'll come back from City and State TV, we're going to come back because there's some things we're going to do with you. But tell me right now, the biggest disappointment that you have in this concluded legislative session for this year, what's the biggest disappointment? What is it the one thing that you were shooting for that you didn't get? Dream Act. That was something that we or the whole community was expecting, and the governor opposition and not I'm playing politics with it didn't, didn't come true. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, we have the the farms working bill. Mm -hmm. uh, that the farmers were okay. yeah that nothing happened with them. Okay. So these are things that, that that the governor could have done. Do it. Last thing I have to say, you mentioned I think at least three yeah. buildings in I would which. Love you to take a shot right, at no, but but three buildings. But but don't you feel 
a little bit like, ooh, you name them yourself after you got the money. You, Why not? Isn't that selfish? Isn't that arrogant? No. Isn't that? Isn't that? Let it call it whatever you want to call it. You have no. You, you don't feel ashamed of that. No, no, no. But well, that's the people's money, and you're putting that's, your name on that's, it. No, no, that, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 don't, don't, don't. You could have named that after a leader, and yet you named it for yeah. yourself. Why? Because I was the one fighting for it. I'm the one. See, you're not going to wait for anybody to give you credit. You're going to take it yourself. Because you will not give me the exactly. credit. You, nobody will give me the credit. People are telling this in the beginning. People only con I concentrate in, in abortion and 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 gay marriage. They will not give me the credit. So it's not about credit. It's about telling people I am a working machine for you. For city and state <laughs> TV. This is Harrison Borrero with State Senator Ruben Diaz, and we'll invite you back. Thanks for watching.